Our word of the week is file plan. A file plan is a helpful records management tool that makes it easier for you and others in your office to find and manage records. You could think of a file plan as a road map to your records. A file plan lists the different types of records maintained by an office, along with information about where and how those records are stored and how long they are to be kept. It doesn't take long to prepare a file plan, and there are several good reasons to create one. File plans make it easier for everyone to know what kinds of records your office has and where those records are stored. File plans are especially useful for new employees, staff who are cross-training or helping in another department, and others who might not work with your records on a daily basis. A good file plan can help your legal counsel and Freedom of Information Act staff locate needed records more quickly. It also makes it much easier for you and your colleagues to know what information to keep and for how long. A file plan can even make the transition to electronic record keeping easier by helping you build more effective organization and records retention practices into new electronic information systems. It doesn't take long to create a file plan for your office. Unlike a record schedule, which usually covers all the records for an entire agency or major program, a file plan lists only those types of records held in a particular office, department, or file station. It's a roadmap to one small part of your organization's information world. Let's take a look at an example. You can customize the structure and arrangement of your file plan to suit your organization. In this plan for the Environmental Research Department, they've listed only the types of records that department creates and maintains. This office has several different series, or types, of records. They've taken the descriptions and retention instructions for just those series of records, and they've used them to build their file plan. The first column in this file plan lists the file number, or file code. This number ties the file plan back to the organization's approved record schedule. They've also included the record series title. That's the name the office uses to refer to this type of records and they've included a short description of the records so others will be able to understand what the files are and how they're used. This information is usually taken directly from the record schedule, but the office could add more detail if needed. The third column describes how the records are filed. This can be especially helpful when someone is trying to retrieve records or when someone new is helping you get caught up on your filing. The file plan also lists the official approved retention time for the records. If you have records that do not yet have a schedule or records that are frozen, that is, records that have had their schedule suspended because of an audit or a lawsuit, you would list that information on the file plan, too. The file plan tells the location of the records in your office. You can include both paper and electronic records in your file plan. This example points to records in the department's central files area, and it also identifies records that are stored on a shared drive and in an information system. Your file plan can help your office identify special types of records. If records require special handling because they contain personal or confidential information, you can note that on the file plan. You can also identify vital records, those essential records your office will need when responding to or recovering from a disaster. Remember, a file plan is really a smaller, office-specific version of your agency's record schedule that includes information on how and where the records are kept. You'll customize your file plan to fit your office and your records. Here's how to get started. First, you need to identify the series. Those are the different types of records your office creates and maintains. You'll note what they are and where they're stored. You'll want to check out any central filing areas for paper records and your shared drives and online information systems for electronic files. Be sure to talk to others in your office, too. You want to identify all the different types of records and their storage locations. Next, you'll match the different types of records you identified with your organization's record schedule. If you don't know how to find your record schedule, be sure to ask your records manager or records officer. Using the information from your record schedule, you'll put together a file plan listing just the types of records in your office, along with their filing and retention instructions, and information on where and how to file and find the records. 
You'll want to make sure that everyone in your office understands the file plan and can use it. Now is the time to review the plan and make sure it's accurate and complete. You may want to have management approve the plan, and in some organizations, the records manager or records officer also reviews and approves each department's file plan. Once you've completed your file plan, you'll also want to post a copy on your intranet or at your designated file stations so it's easy for people to find. Plan to review and update your file plan every year or whenever you make changes to your office, your record schedule, or your information systems. If you take these few simple steps to create an office file plan, you'll be on the road to faster, easier, more efficient retrieval and management of your department's records. If you would like more information about file plans, record schedules, and other records management tools and techniques, visit us online at archives.gov.